Hey guys, it's Mel. Okay, we're starting off with part two. Um, so this is what we left off. We're still working on Clarice, um, the female reindeer. So now we have her eyes and her feet assembled and her the base of her body, and including her eyelids. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add her little nose. So with um, your Stampin' Up! Owl Punch, um, this is the size of the nose you're going to need. So um, I gave them both red noses. You can do it, decide to do maybe hers in brown and just his red um, if you want to get really technical. Um, I just thought it was cute to add them both in red. So that's totally up to you. So um, we're just going to go with what um, I did in the card. So if you want to change it, um, now would be the time to do so. So use this shape here and just punch out two. You can might as well just use these and if you want to just stick the red paper just to here. So you only need to utilize these two red holes. Um, and then you can save the other one for when we do Rudolph. Okay, so just pick up your red. So here's your red, my red shape that I punched out and I'm still using my quick stick tool. And then we're just gonna add um, a dab of glue. Whoops, this might have dried. Um, I did my part one last night and then I got tired, so. Um, we're starting off again today. Okay, so now you take your, let me get this over here so you can see. You take your little red piece, try and do this through the camera, and, um, and then you just put on your, her little nose. Um, nothing has to be perfect. You can put it on, and like I said, this glue is a little bit forgiving, so you can kind of move it around if you absolutely do not like where it's at. Okay, so now that we have her nose on, I just want to show you what I did. And again, you can omit whatever you want to omit. You can add whatever you want to add. Um, what I did is I just took this fine, if you have one of these, this is, um, it says Pigma Micron um, 005. It's just a, a black um, marker with a very, I don't know if you can see that, but a very, very thin tip. And I just kind of doodled and I thought it would be fun to, um, I love eyelashes, so, um, and Clarice has very pretty eyelashes in the video. So I just kind of went in and just did little, quick little, quick little lines just to act as eyelashes and just do it to both sides. And you can fan them out, you can do them as long as you want. Um, I just think that part's fun, it just adds to, you know, not that males don't have eyelashes, but it just kind of adds to her female look. So I just did and doodled, and if you had, you don't have to have this very, you know, special thin pen, but I just had this from, um, I think, I forget why I initially got this, but I've had this for years. So I just used that, and um, just kind of did her eyelashes, and I even kind of lined the underline of her eye, almost like I'm giving her a little bit of eyeliner. Um, so then that just dressed her up a little bit, and then you want to take a white gel pen, and this is just to add to it. Again, if you don't have these items, you can still create this. Um, I'm just showing you what I did. And then I just kind of did a little white. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. I just did a little white in her eye just to give it, you know, where she's looking a little more realistic now. Um, and there, I did it on the other eye. So I did a dot and just a little line. You can do however you like. You don't have to, you can do one little line. But I just thought that looked more like eyes. Um, and then also I just added some accenting on her nose. So I just did like a little, you can put it in any area you want, but I just did it right at the top. Just to act as like a little, see there, just to act as like a little shine mark. Okay, then you take the same um, black pen that you used, and just to add a little accent, I just did her smile. So let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, and then I just kind of did just a little half smile, because I wanted to make it look like she was looking at him and kind of smirking at him. So, very easy, simple, just a thin little line. So that's how I did it. You could do a full smile if you like. Um, this is just how I did it again. And then all I, the only other thing I used this pen for is I just kind of drew some, just some like inner ear, I guess, just to give some dimension, just to make it look like there. So just little, little black lines in both sides. Okay, so now that we have that, um, what I did was with the red, I used like a rustic red twine. Here's a piece of it, what it looks like. And I just tied a little bow. And that's how that's how I made her bow. So you just tie a regular normal bow like you're tying a pair of shoes. And I'm going to snip it a little bit. Just You want it nice and teeny. Um, we'll add that last. So just set that aside. And I'm going to show you how to do the antlers. Okay. So using this punch, if you have this punch or whatever snowflake punch you could use, you know, if it's a little different, I'm sure it could work. And like I said, if you don't have the snowflake punch, maybe you could use, you know, this for antlers. <clears throat> or even, you know, kind of freehand, just cut them out. 
but for, for now I'm using the snowflake punch and all you need um, and this will do Rudolph and Clarice for one snowflake so all you want to do is just cut off like I'm gonna cut right here and right here so let me see if I can do it on camera um, let's see so just kind of because you want to leave something to attach like most of this you're not gonna see behind it but you want to leave you want to leave something for it to attach to and I know that's not much and then for her what I did was I just cut off this little hump here um, but I left it on for Rudolph I don't know why but just to make them look different okay so that looks a little crappy now but this part's gonna be covered up because you're only gonna see the antlers okay so and excuse my messy nails I wanted to try to do them before I did this video and I got this all up close but you guys know how it is with the crafts you get you make a mess all right so then you just want to stick this simple um, just put that behind her head and then you can kind of once you get it back there let me zoom out so you can see a little more once you um, get it on you can kind of move it around see how where you like it if you want them angled to one side but I think that looks about about right okay and then what you're going to do is add a little dab of glue this is if you want to do this step to um, add a bow again not necessary but I just think these are the little things that make them so cute um, so let me bring this up closer so there's the dab of glue if you can see it and you just take your little bow and just kind of press it you can also use glue dots for this um, you don't have to use this liquid glue but this is what I have here so I might as well use that so then you have your little bow you can mess with it or you know it doesn't look too bad so I think I'm probably gonna leave it but there's her little bow I'm gonna kind of move it to the side a little bit there we go that looks cute okay and now what we're gonna do is the only other thing and this is optional too this is where I showed you I use my Christmas twine and I just kind of tied it around like a scarf but I'm going to use a small little glue dot for this you could use liquid glue it's just going to take a lot longer to dry so I'm just going to use one of these really tiny you probably can't even see them can you see that there a little glue dot and see if I can pick it up with this okay okay so there's a little glue dot there I'm just going to put it lower down here or on her neck so that's where if you can't see it it's right where I'm pointing so just about in that area um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind her just like a, you would with a scarf and then I'm just going to tie a knot so just basically under Oops. and then just kind of as you come down just press it down into the glue dot so it kind of stays and then I'm just going to tie another knot so it's just like a double knot so there was one and just another knot and this is just to act as her little scarf um, because our little sentiment says baby it's cold outside so we're just doing her little scarf and then at the ends of her scarf what I did was and you don't have to do this if you you know you can skip this step if you don't have this little teeny punch but with my little snowflake punch that looked like this that I showed you in the beginning I think I did I'd redid this video like 9,000 times so if it wasn't in this one here's what it looks like so I punched them out twice with the matching glitter paper that I used for the snow and so I just needed two of them so here's one that's how tiny they are and here's the other one and then what I did was see I snipped the ends of her scarf and then if you want it to stay in place it might take a little while to dry just do a very thin little line of glue and then just kind of lay lay the end of her scarf on there so you can be the boss of where that ends up going and um, you can use um, the regular glue or I'm gonna, again I'm going to use a little mini glue dot for the two ends of this so let me just grab one so here's one so you put a little mini glue dot in the end of this scarf oops that's not sticking too well if it wants to work the other one I did liquid glue but I thought this wouldn't be better okay and then you want to pick up your little mini snowflake and just cover up that end I just think that's cute so there's one end and then do the same thing with the other side maybe this side I'll try glue okay your liquid glue okay so just do a little bowl of glue and then let me move this out of the way you just want to grab your other snowflake and just kind of mash that on the other end just press down that one's gonna take a little longer to dry because I use liquid glue and there we have Clarice so I hope that wasn't too hard for you guys um, and sorry this was a two-part video and I'm probably gonna have a two-part for Rudolph but Rudolph's a little easier because he doesn't have all the the jazz that we put on little Miss Clarice here just want to move her bow 
So hopefully that wasn't too hard and that showed you guys how to do it. Sorry I'm all over the place. I'm trying. I'm still doing this with my tripod. So, um, But I hope that was able to give you an idea and to help. And um, stay tuned for Rudolph. Bye.